Hello, in this tutorial I will show how you can deploy Keysight Cyber Controller. The deployment files and deployment guides are found on our support website at this link and you will find this link in the description of this video. Once you access the link, you will be presented with the list of Cypher versions and you can select the one that you would like to deploy. I will select this one. And the page that opens after I click that uh, shows all the deployment options. The site of controller can be deployed either in a cloud, and if I select this, you'll see we support the three clouds, Google, Amazon, and Microsoft, or it can be deployed on premises, either on an ASXi server or on a KVM server. In the first part of this video, I will show the deployment on an ASXi server. So I will select this option. And now the first file available for download is the OVA file for the type of controller. So I will download this file. The file has now downloaded and I have connected to my ASXi server. And next I will follow the steps to deploy a VM from an OVA. So I will select create register VM, then I will select deploy a virtual machine from an OVA for OVA file. I will click next. Here I will give it a name, let's say Cyper controller then I will select the file I just downloaded I will click next here I will select what data store I would like to use next I will select the network that it will use so this network will be used for managing the controller accessing the UI uh, and it will also be used by the controller to communicate with the agents next um, I will click next and then I will click finish and now I will wait uh, for the VM to deploy. The deployment will take a while, so I will pause the video until uh, the deployment is complete. Deployment has completed, and I can now access the serial console of the controller VM. It will first ask me to log in. So for login, I will type the word console, after which it will ask for the username and the password. Username is admin and the password is cyperf and keysight number one. Uh, the spelling of this will be also shown in the video comments. I'm now logged in. And the first thing I am presented with is the EULA which I need to accept before I can proceed. So I type yes. And now the commands to uh, set up the uh, IP address of the machine. So first, uh, the machine uh, comes with a default setting for DHCP. If you have DHCP in your environment, it will automatically take an IP address. And in my case, we will see that it did. So the command is KCOS networking IP show. And we see that interface management zero has an IP address, uh, which it received through DHCP. Let's say you need to set a static IP address if you do not have a DHCP server in your environment. The command would be KCOS networking IP set. Now the interface name mgmt0 then you type the ip address uh, which you desire to assign to this machine let's say i want to assign ip address 10 10 10 10 slash uh, the mask 24 and then the gateway ip address for this um, machine which will be let's say 10 10 10 1 this will be the command to change it and these steps are also highlighted in the Cyperf deployment guide, if I go back to the location where um, I downloaded the OVA earlier, if I scroll down, you will see there is a deployment guide. And in, a, in the deployment guide, we have the chapter on OVA manual deployment. And here we have these commands. We also have the commands to enable the HTTP in case we have disabled it. If we have uh, assigned an, a static IP address, uh, this would be the command to re-enable it.
In the case of cloud deployment, we can go back to the download page and instead of selecting on-prem, I will select cloud. Let's assume I want to deploy in AWS. Uh, and here, based on the specific cloud I'm interested in, we provide um, deployment options. So you see for AWS, we provide cloud formation templates, Terraform scripts, or you can also deploy it manually via AMIs. I will click on the cloud formation templates. And this takes me to the GitHub page for Keysight Sideburf. Here on the left, you see that we have uh, options for all the clouds. We have uh, AWS scripts here, Azure, uh, we have GCP, and we also have the containers option. Uh, for AWS, cloud formation templates. Uh, let's assume I want to create a controller and agent pair. The, the deployment uh, scripts are here. Uh, this is the image. And then uh, if I want to deploy it in an existing VPC, I will select this um, template. Or if I want to deploy with a new VPC, create a new VPC during deployment, I will select this template. I will go now to my AWS account here. And I already have mine deployed in cloud formation. So if I go to EC2, these are the VMs that it creates. So this uh, template creates both the controller and the two agents. The controller can also be accessed through uh, the UI, through its uh, public IP address. And something to keep in mind is uh, what we need to set in the security group. So in the security group, you need to open port 443, TCP port 443, for the host that will access the UI. So in this case, my computer will need access. Um, and also the two agents will need to connect, uh, to communicate with the controller on port 443. This is the only port that you need to open between the uh, controller and the agents.